here we go into the match. Game number one of this best of three set. And we'll see how our early warding looks. DT Toast on the train protector. He's not got any wards here. But he's going to try to scout out those early movements. Meanwhile, Dark Surf will be handled by Lacuna. We've got Troll Ward. He's going to be handled by Ark. Sam will be playing the Queen of Pain. And then finally, Effie on the Crystal Maiden. Ramster will be handling the Silencer. We've got Mossy handling an Earthshaker. Uh, he's got the recipe for an Iron Talon. This should be interesting. Um, Bristleback will be played by Kong. We've got Enigma handled by Hot Salsa. And then finally, the Io is going to be Waffles R Us. So it doesn't really look like a carry build from Remster at all, especially with the ward in his inventory. Oh, Lacuna. He's actually got three heroes around him. Trying to do some work with the Iron Shell. The thing about these heroes is they don't really have the best catch mechanism. They don't actually have a stun on their side right now. Uh, Mossy would have to get over there. But the Bounty Rune is secured by Kong over there. Oh, can they actually get this? Does the Iron really want to go for the kill? One more hit would do it. But he's not going to get in range. Very close. But doesn't quite get it. So we start off with the block from Hot Salsa. And DT Toast wants to try to make things really difficult on the mid lane. They're going to stick Kong there. I guess that's a bit of a tankier, tankier hero against Queen of Pain. He's going to get a free lane for a bit as Queen of Pain waits for her health to regen. Oh my gosh, this is devastating for her. And I don't even know if she's going to get back into lane and get all of her health back. I mean, she's going to get a free dagger up against Waffles R Us, but... I really do like this choice of having the IO here. It means that the Bristleback's going to have some much needed survivability against this and is not going to hurt so much in this matchup against the Queen of Pain. And maybe they even have a little bit of kill potential if she makes some bad decisions with her blink. This is going to leave Mossy alone farming at bottom with Remster to help out with the supporting role. Not really sure why the Iron Shell is placed onto the range creep there, but, you know, sometimes you make mistakes. E.T. Toast has made it down towards bottom. I don't really see him being able to put a huge amount of damage out. Mossy's taking a lot of the creep wave here. The idea against the Dark Seer is to get the Iron Talon out onto a creep and then have enough damage with the Enchant Totem to take that uh, creep with the Iron Shell down very quickly. And he's going to get pretty low here. See if the Trian's going to be able to do anything. And he might decide to own. Mossy has to get out. He's going to throw out the Fissure, but that's going to be the first blood. DT Toast just coming in at the bottom lane and maybe even getting a second kill here. A little bit of damage. He needs to have the slows on him. Where's the range? Can he get it? Yes! The melee. That melee range so long manages to get the kill. And that Fissure's really not going to bother DT Toast at all either. Yeah, he just wasn't really expecting the train protector to be down at bottom. He's off the map for a while, and sometimes you tend for to forget about such things. And looks like DT Toast was willing to turn that into the first blood. At bottom, Mossy forced to eat his mango. So he won't have as much of the region any longer. And Crystal Maiden's made her way here as well. So they're really trying to punish this Mossy Earthshaker, which is the right move right now for 2634. They need to punish Mossy Earthshaker. They need to make sure that his early game is not going to be effective at all and that the supports of Groves need to go down there and try to help him out. So that's really affecting their early game movements and also the early farming of Mossy. Kong getting quite low. Queen of Pain is going to go for this one. The Living Armor is there on the Queen of Pain making that dive extremely easy for her. The Enigma will come around the side. There's no blink up yet. It's going to be up in four seconds. Can she actually get it off? Oh, one more hit from the Enigma does it. Meanwhile, at bottom, this Darkseer Iron Shell still doing a lot of damage over to Mossy and Iowa's made his way or made its way over here. I guess I shouldn't assume the gender of a ball of energy. That long range uh, route. And look at the look at the surge on the DT Toast. He's going to get the living armor on himself, which 
gets taken off very quickly. Rems are doing a lot of damage here, but unfortunately there's no finish at all from Groves. They don't have a stun. They're slow as the eye. Well, they do have a stun if Earthshaker throws out a Fissure, but he's out of mana. So they don't have a stun right now. And they need to get a slow from the eye if they really want to get a chance at trying to kill somebody. Double damage rune on Queen of Pain. She's going to have a regen rune for herself right now. As a not a bottle. Just see the Null Talisman is coming out on the Courier. Right now, the top of the last hits, though, is the Troll Warlord. He's trying to get... Well, he actually has enough gold for the Phase Boots right now. But he's not been really pressured at all. Enigma's not... Uh, not really an off winner that is going to show up to lane a whole lot, especially against what he thought was going to be more of an aggressive lane. Might decide to go in there kind of soon, simply because the supports are doing things elsewhere. The Radiant supports, they might be thinking about a go onto the Queen of Pain, but that's not the best way to be charging onto a hero. And they're going to go underneath the tower. Waffles are asking, yeah, he's going to fall. There's absolutely no way that he gets out. Insane isn't even going to fall. It's very difficult to take that route around, especially when the creep wave isn't pushing in um, because you're taking tower shots all over the place. So you really do have to be careful when you do things like that. You have to know exactly what you're doing. Meanwhile, at bottom, Mossy's actually getting a kill out on the Lacuna, not even needing the Echo Slam for it. He's just at level four. So I guess he's looking pretty good there. Sane really thinking about going on the Kong once again. Still at level four. Meanwhile, Sane, he's all the way up to 6, so yeah, this aggression from the side could work out very well from 2634, but they're going to run right underneath, I believe, the double observer. Meanwhile, Lacuna, he's going to find the kill at bottom, and now there's the Leech Seed out onto the Remster Silencer. Living Armor used onto Toast, and well, Toast is going to... Started to hit, hit that little ball as well. Effie trying to get in for the frostbite, but he doesn't have the range, and he's just going to secure himself the frostbite. Oh, Toast wants that root. Uh, Fisher's not going to be on the money, and DT Toast might think about coming in from behind. Maybe they can catch out Effie, who is actually going to manage to get up to the shrine. Still pursued out by Mossy. Mossy's going to be right next to him with the enchant totem. Still healing up his Effie. Uh, the Surge is going to get him away, though. The Fisher could catch him out, but still... Not enough damage to kill him. And now Remster need, feels like he needs to get into this fight. Lacuna will chase away Waffles R.S. Frostbite is going to keep the Earthshaker there. But Waffles R.S., uh, he's in a lot of trouble. Meanwhile, Sane killing off Kong on the mid lane. Interesting kill there. Didn't spend the Sonic Wave for it. Now Earthshaker caught up on the high ground. What is happening here, honestly? Effie nearly killed off by this one. Meanwhile, it's the Ion Show on the Tree Protector. He's going to find the kill on to Silencer. And now Mossy could be in a lot of trouble as well. Leech Seed slows him down. And man, that ham fisted tree branch ends up killing off the Earthshaker as well. Interesting fight. I, it was just every which way in that one. And eventually someone comes out on top. It's going to be 2634 by a pretty big margin. At bottom, Waffles are taking some damage from the Iron Shell. This is broken. Dark Seer, Tree and Protector. This silly combo won me a Battle Cup. Now Toast. He's getting quite low, but Lacuna is here to tank up. Oh, Toast. Where's your, le where's your living armor? Charge is going to get Lacuna through the trees. Effie wants to... Oh, he gets the wrong way. Effie's going to catch him out with the Frostbite. The stun is there. Oh, beautiful Fissure. But he might actually be caught in the trees as a result. And the wall is going to get dropped down. Mossy in the middle of everything. He actually turns it around. Gets the tree and protector. Can he get out of here? That is the real question. He's trying to. But the Frostbite eventually seals his demise. Man, these fights are just so strange. We still have 2634 taking a pretty big lead in terms of kills and when you're giving up solo kills mid on your bristleback it's generally not the best situation he is doing really well on last hits the queen queen of pain just ahead of him kong backing away here without a sonic wave available the queen of pain is probably not going to find the kill there but this is pretty much free for her because she does have the full regen rune will be easier to use those as well 
more stacks coming up in the jungle. Mossy's going for a blink dagger first, so not really any kind of damage item. The main thing that he should be looking for right now is just some levels. DT toast again with the iron. So he's going to go underneath the tower. Will not get the root off on the Remster, but the the surge is there. Remster, oh man, he should probably go down here. Dream Protector is actually going to back off and maybe Silencer tries to turn things around. Meanwhile, inside the jungle, Effie trying to back out of this one. They did take the kill onto the Earthshaker. He was trying to deny himself, but it's not going to happen this time. Meanwhile, Sane, he has blood in his eyes right now. He's going to use the Scream of Pain to clean up the Guardian Wisp. Unfortunately, not able to guard anything there. Living Armor out the Scream of Pain. The Black Hole is going to be dropped. Where's the damage? They have a lot from the Silencer. The Fisher's there. And eventually keeps the Queen of Pain there just for a little bit longer. And the dust gets used. Tree Protector will die once again to Mossy. Mossy coming into a lot of these fights and having a pretty big impact. Trying to chase down the Darks here a little bit, but you are not going to find him. Nice fight for Groves. They take a 9,000, we'll say. Gold lead after that one. And unfortunately, they could end up losing their Tier 1 Tower top. But that's not a huge deal for them. As they still have the Shrine in that general area. So in terms of this early game, I mean, I would expect 2634 to maybe hit their stride at a good moment here. They'll have the freezing field up on Crystal Maiden pretty soon. Overgrowth also available soon on the train protector. So they will have a lot of ways to win these fights eventually. The one thing they have to be worried about, oh no, Hot Sal's about to be killed off. We'll use the Malefice onto Queen of Pain, but that's not going to make too much of a difference to her. And the push should continue onto the Tier 1 Tower here. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, we've got Earthshaker. He's getting low. Mossy vacuumed back by Wakuna. Wakuna's still trying to get in there, has the search available, decides not to use it. Now he's going to go in, um, maybe towards Mossy, maybe right for Waffles or us, but for sure he's definitely getting blocked out of the tower for now. Dark is still farming in the top lane. Phase boots, Vlad's form. So you can see that he's clearly doing a really good job with making sure that his, his gold continues here and his damage is good. Crystal Mane decided to go onto the Earthshaker there with the Frostbite. Frostbite only applied for so long there. He's going to try to turn around on the Effie. Where's the mana? Here comes Troll Warward. Silencer Ultimate is there, but oh, they're not going to be able to kill off Mossy thanks to the healing from the Guardian Wisp. Troll Warward surge out of there. Also has the living armor on him. So these teams are both extremely annoying to try to kill. One with the Io on the side and one with the Treant. So there is... Oh, poor Wisp. <laughs> Sane just going right for the Sonic Wave. Still has the Veil of Discord available. Now we also have the living armor out onto Ark. Toast hanging out close to the bounty rune spot. And I don't know if Enigma got vision of that one. He may want to try to go for the <laughs> rune. Uh, no root from Earthshake, or no root from Tree Protector, rather. But he's still going to be able to get the rune. Midnight Pulse dropped down to kill all of those poor trees. I think that Tree and Protector might have just gone a little bit sad, but. Unfortunately, doesn't seem to care too much at all. Taking a look at where our items are going. We'll be having our Blink Dagger in a bit from the Earthshaker. First item for Bristleback is the Vanguard. He seems to be getting... I don't know. You can't really see anything other than the tome that he was getting there. The mechanism for Enigma. And then finally, the Wisp actually doesn't have a bottle at all. Double damage ring pop for Sane. They're going to go right for the Bristleback. Not the easiest here to kill, but with the blink over, Sane is going to try to mitigate some of the damage and effectiveness from the quills. DT Toast getting taken quite well by the Maledict, or the Malefist rather. Mossy, all right, right next to the Black Hole, but the Black Hole immediately gets canceled from Hot Salsa. Although Queen of Pain is silent, she still wants to go in for a couple of these kills. Blinks in, is not going to even need to use the Scream of Pain to get the kills there. And DT Toast needs to be careful of that tower aggro. A lot of 2634 heroes are low, but they are looking very good in these pushes against Groves. 7 kills to 21 so far. 2100 gold 
after that last fight to 2634 with the double damage range still on Queen of Pain. They'll go right for Roshan. It should be relatively easy for them. They have a Vlad's and they also have Living Armor buffing them up. So I would assume that this should be a relatively easy Roshan for 2634, especially with four levels into Fervor. Oh, I don't even know if Groves want to get in here. Kong's going to just walk right in. Frostbite's going to keep him away. And Troll World can keep doing the Roshan by himself. Doesn't need a whole lot of help from anybody else. I'm going to sit there tanking up everything, taking the first stages of the game at 14 minutes. And probably forcing Groves. Oh no, you gotta get back here. You cannot stay here at all. Remster up on the high ground. He's gonna get hit with the Scream of Pain and the Dagger. The Daggers of Pain making him bleed all over the place. And somebody's gonna have to clean up that mess because I sure am not. Sand going in, getting hit with the Malefice. Wapplesaurus, oh, nice little tether to get around the Sonic Wave. But now they're gonna go right on to Kong. All oh, the ultimate is there. The battle chance from Troll Warward. And 2634 get another round of kills. The push may still continue from 2634. The Midnight Pulse dropped down, making things slightly more difficult. You can see Ark's health just ticking away a little bit there, but he's feeling very confident with the Aegis. Sane still doesn't have the Orchid, just two Obsidian... No. Obsidian Staff? Oblivion Staff. I was thinking it couldn't be Obsidian because that's Obsi Obsidian Destroyer. So it looks like I was right and wrong at the same time. push can still continue on mid uh, with the Aegis I don't think Ark is feeling too scared at all maybe just waiting for the nope you can't be waiting for that right now Queen Pain is pushing in the bottom lane and maybe 2634 just decide to abandon that for now it could go over to bottom and push that with the pressure that Queen of Pain is putting onto the lane so far very close to the Orchid Malevolence which he does get there Right now, 2634 are, are controlling so much about these lanes and these towers. It's difficult for Groves to do anything. They'll use the... Oh, nice blink is going to catch out the smoke of Groves. And they have to use that silencer ultimate. They do it there. Uh, Queen of Pain getting low. She doesn't have the ages. Meanwhile, Toast gets a nice... Uh, overgrowth onto four actually freezing field doing a huge amount of damage and i believe that 2634 could count come out on top but mossy in the middle of everything gets a kill on the one and arc has to get back to the rest of his team because if he doesn't well he doesn't uh crystal main is going to fall and now only the troll world is left in this fight and mossy's going to go right back in he has the mana available for himself uh this is still an aegis arc so it's going to take a little bit longer to get through this one and arc gets one the second will not come just yet as the Aegis has popped. Uh, Mossy still has a Fitcher. He's going to keep Ark there. And that's going to be the end of that engagement. Nice split from uh, Groves. And that's going to secure themselves a kill or two or three. Waffles are getting low. There's going to be a buyback from Mossy as there's also Living Armor on the Ark. He picks up two. Black Hole from Hot Salsa. And they're all going to go for this one. Making sure that Ark ends up dying. Which, in the end, he does. Plus two intelligence for Silencer, minus two for the Troll Warward. As if he could get any stupider. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Orchid out onto Earthshaker. I don't really know what Saint is doing, but it seems like he might be a bit far in. Vacuum and the Frostbite out onto Enigma. I don't think they... Wow, they're actually going to chase this one down. Hot Salsa needs some kind of healing. Oh, it's going to be there, but unfortunately not enough to evade the damage from... The scream of pain again the sonic wave leaves a lot to be desired from the same and clearly uh, his darkster has something to say about but he's gonna walk right in trying to redeem himself saying he's gonna get the orchid out onto the earth shaker there's the wall vacuum available in one second for lacuna and 2634 just trying to win out this clown fiesta over in the bottom lane bottom tower is very low Sane probably wants to go for the Bristleback. I don't know if he should, but he is getting him low. Uh, Lacuna right next to him with the Iron Shell, and I don't know if this is damage that can, you can just make go away. Another kill, this time on the Bristleback. I hear that's supposed to be pretty tanky, and honestly, you look at a couple of these score lines, you have to say 
that groves are being dismantled in the top lane Toast getting hit a little bit by the enigma troll gets the tower in mid and the bottom tower it isn't within deny range so most likely 2634 just want to push straight through this very quickly so yeah, they will get that tier 2 tower still some pressure being put on the top lane by tree and protector but at this point he's just doing his own thing 19 minutes in, looking like 2634 could be running away with this one. See if Groves can do anything. They did have a pretty good fight last time around, but then, all right, here comes Mossy going right for the Queen of Pain. Nearly killing her. The heals are there. Can Saint get out? He's going to be stunned. Oh, yeah. Not going to be able to get out of there. And taking out the Queen of Pain right away, that is well worth an Echo Slam at this stage of the game, especially when you always have to be worried of the Sonic Wave. 2634. Do not want to give up anything else here against Groves as the blink comes in from Mossy onto Ark who tries, tries to get away a little bit. He's going to go right for the Wisp. Where's everything else though? Black Cloud down for 47 seconds. You can't really go onto Kong there if you want to initiate onto somebody. He is still pretty tanky even if he is a Bristleback that died quite a bit. Fissure onto nobody and Mossy is going to get cleaned up by this as well as Ark goes right through the Midnight Pulse to find even more kills. But as this game has shown, as I've seen in Dota over the past week, even if a team starts to win a couple team fights, you cannot count the other one out at all in a game. That's just the nature of it. You can get a team fight that works out well for yourself and turn the game from there. Turn it completely on its head. So... Cupertino, ready to take down the tier 2 tower on top, trying to take down the last remaining outer. Roshan can respawn in 130. Looks like the, the timer might be a bit longer than that one. Meanwhile on top, Mossy and Waffles are being forced to try to play against this uh, fortification. Mossy nearly kills the tower, Wisp is the one to take it. Oh no! They did it again. They wasted their sonic wave. Dagon's apparently next on the menu for the Queen of Pain. Doing some pretty high magic burst damage along with the Veil of Discord. Should be looking really good for her. And Groves are down to defending their base at this point. They can't allow Lacuna to get in for anything. He doesn't have a blink yet. And he's going to get initiated on here. Malad this is there Lacuna trying to get himself out Ark will come in from the side unfortunately though the Darkseer didn't really bait too much at all Just tried to get away as soon as that initiation came through and why wait honestly why would you wait uh, if you are a Darkseer trying to get out even if your team is trying to arrive like you don't need to wait so you don't So right now it seems like 2634 are trying to figure out their next move. Roshan, we'll see when he respawns in a couple seconds. It's going to be about a minute. That's not a bad respawn at all. I don't mind this. And I don't think that 2634 should mind it either. I'm just going to take a quick drink. They do a bit of casting today. So nice little wording mission there from Groves to get outside the base, get some vision on the map, make sure that they're not going to be caught out in a bad situation, and continue to try to keep up this siege defense against 2634. Roshan will be back soon. See if anybody checks it. Okuna up to the high ground. That's not the most auspicious of positions for him to be in. So just back up. Meanwhile, 2634 continue to spread the map. They're not really feeling a sense of urgency to push in one lane. They say, well, if you're there going to let us farm, then we may as well. They'll be going and trying.
trying to make sure they can farm every single possible drop out of this map while also keeping the pressure onto Groves, who are quite far behind at this point. 18,000 gold in favor of 2634. Happy keeping himself alive against the large amount of units on the mid lane. But Roshan is up. So as soon as he's up, Troll Warwood goes right for him. And that should be the easiest Roshan of his life, probably. Maybe not so much, but still a very good one. Aegis down. It's going to go to Ark. She's now on Darkseer. Something that the Queen of Pain definitely could have used in the last fight. And that should give 2634 a very good tool in what they need to do to take this high ground. Blink Dagger picked up on Darkseer. That should definitely help his mobility around. And also a Silver Edge now on Troll Warward. So he's got a lot going for him here. Almost have our Shadow Blade on the Earthshaker. <coughs> So in terms of matches, I'm not entirely sure how many are going to be this week, but we are closing out on the High School Star League playoffs for this very long season. Started way back in the spring, now we here, nearly into June playing out close to the final stages of the playoffs. Nice little blink out from Lacuna to get away from the Enchant Totem. That's one of the reasons why if you're going to go for a more of a damage type Earthshaker, you start with the the Shadow Blade or the Silver Edge, just because you have the ability to maybe sneak up on people a little bit more. Even though the animations for Encho Enchant Totem are so long. Uh, the only thing it seems that, oh my gosh, that's not looking good at all. Mossy is just going to have to watch his friends die here. As well, now he's also caught out inside the tree. Saint is right next to him, but he doesn't seem to care about that totem staring him in the face. Meanwhile, Troll Warwood going ham, taking down T Kong all by himself. And quickly like that, it's just a 2v5. As long as 2634 can show up, Troll Warwood will be going for the tier 3 in mid. The other team will try to stop him, but they have a lot of lanes to be keeping an, an eye on right now. Earth wants to go in. There's some healing. There's a shrine, but it doesn't end up mattering. Look at the huge damage from Sane. Managing to kill off uh, an enigma and then the wisp. This is a bit of a massacre at this point. First set of racks of the game is going to fall as 2634 are chasing Groves back into their base right now. Sane picks up three. Groves aren't usually too unused to the Queen of Pain outperforming everybody in a match. You can see that she blinks back over. Echo Slam's going to pop to get her down there, though. But the vacuum still comes out from Darks here. Earthshaker's to fall. Uh, he's going to buy back as fast as possible. But meanwhile, Kong, he's just trying to do everything he can to try to survive. Just turning his back, doing whatever. But the damage has already been done. A couple of heroes down, lots of buybacks used. And also, the full mid set of racks are gone. Oh no, they're going to turn around onto this one. They're trying to chase down DT Toast, but he's got the overgrowth. Going to hit it onto three. There's the four step forward, but Earthshaker completely misses the Fisher. And Crystal Maiden tries to say that this is my space at the back of it. And indeed, she zones him away. We got Earthshaker falling. Kong turning his back to the danger. Ark is going to keep going. Black Hole on the back side of this one. Can they actually take down the troll? He still has the Aegis, and he's going to use the Whirling Axis to try to put the mischance onto these heroes. The Quills don't miss, but is he even going to be hit by the Quills? DT Toast trying to take down Kong. He's going to get the root, and he may put out a lot of Quills, but he does not put out a lot of death. And another beautiful fight for Gross. Well, actually strike that. It's the complete opposite. Beautiful fight from 2634 as they continue to take huge advantages here. For some reason, I feel like I'm a little bit tired. Um, I was up since before 7 this morning uh, casting some Paragon stuff because EU tournaments are cool. 
Ark about to go in onto the island? Should be. Oh my gosh. Do you see this one? He needs to go into range form. He was silenced for a bit. Remster. Oh my gosh. He has to get back. Uh, free and Protector could end up going down. He's. In, oh my gosh. The same Queen of Pain just got the double kill inside the base with the Sonic Wave. And now it's Bristleback. He's forced to try to contend with Ark, who will break off the Bristleback passive. It's 15 kills to 50. Somebody stop this madness. Not he doing anything he can. Troll World nearly killing himself here. Still has the Aegis. TP has to be cancelled. Another set of racks will be taken. Aegis is gone. And still Queen of Pain wants to go ham deep underneath the Radiant Base. Freezing Field is there from Crystal Maiden, creating that no-no zone for uh, Groves. And no indeed. Uh, Saint does end up falling, but the rest of the team, they're still going for the objectives that ma that matter, going for the tier 3 and the racks over at top. We'll see if Groves can make any kind of reaction. Mossy's going to go in here, but the BKB has been popped by Ark. He's going to immediately take down Mossy. Looking for another one. Hot Salsa trying to get out. Where's the damage? He needs to go into range from. Going to slow him down and takes him out as well. Waffles the rest. He's going to be the next one to fall here. What can this Ark do? Nobody's going to stop him. Triple kill for himself. And... Uh, that's going to be it. Mossy calls a GG, and Kong will probably be the last one to fall inside the base. Ultra kill, as Trinium Protector takes all of those tower shots to the back. So that's going to do it for game number one of this best of three. 26-34, absolutely dominant here, but is this going to continue? I guess only time can tell here in the high school Star League. Dota 2 playoffs, this is a lower bracket matchup, and Groves are one loss away from elimination. We'll see if they can come back in game number two, which we will see in just a bit. Cheers, guys.